All right, number nine. Um, well, this takes us back to geometry. How many ang all the angles in a triangle add up to be? 180. Perfect, 180. So 29 and 105 is 134. Wait. Yeah. Yeah. So 134. And so 134 from 180, well, 130 leaves 50, right? And then 4 from 50. So just 44, right? Wait. Wait. Is it 44? Yeah. Or 46. 34. Right? This is 34. So 4 from 50 would be... Wouldn't it be 46? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, okay. So we know all the angles. That's the cool part, right? Now we just got to decide what base, which one do you want to make the base, right? Um, there's only really one choice here, isn't there? You feel me? Nine? Nine, yeah. <laughs> That's the only one we know. <laughs> and we like to use the stuff we know, right? So we're going to tell this is going to be the base. Okay, so if the area is equal to one half the base times the height, right, then, um, then the area is equal to one half nine times x. We just don't know what x is, right? x would be the height. And the height would be, you know, this. It's so always that distance to the base, right? Now we can choose to use 46 or 29. It really doesn't matter. So we didn't have to figure this out, in other words. We could have just used the 29. I'm just saying, you know, I always like to kind of figure everything out so I can use what I want to use. Does that make sense? Um, Oh, snaps. But we do have a problem. Right? We don't have another We don't have another side. We need, we need the base, but we also need a, another side. Right? So, how are we going to find the other side? We could use law of cosines if we had two sides. Right? But we don't have two sides. So we quit, give up. No. <laughs> Come on, Sean. <laughs> We're gonna do We're gonna do the law of signs. Remember? Sine A over A is equal to sine B over B. Now what's cool about this is all we need is two sides and two angles. Right? Two sides and two angles. It doesn't matter what two sides and what two angles, but we need two, well, we don't need the two sides because one thing can be missing, right? One of these can be X, right? So if we want to call um, something X, then the other thing would be across from x. You feel me? So which one do you want to call x, a or b? Is kind of what I'm going at. Little a. Little a? All right. So, well, actually, we, we called x this. So let's stick with calling little a, little a. Okay? Little a is the unknown. So big A, um, we're going to go with... So. We could find um, you mean this side? No, 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 no. But this side? Yeah. It really doesn't matter which side you go with because we have both angles. So let's start it off with this. Let me just I'll just start it off. How about we go like this? Let's call little a nine. 
Because that's the number we have. Let's start with something that we have. How about that? Let's always start with something that we have. So let's call it little a9. So what would uh, the sign, what angle is in reference to little a? 105. Okay. So then that would be a, if this is little a. You know we called it b in base. That's so confusing. We could go back to calling it b. I don't care, actually. So we'll call it b because it's base. And then we put it in for this guy. So I'll write it over here. Sine of 105 is over 9. This doesn't really matter, it, it, but it does to you guys. So since we already called that the base and it's B, then this is going to be B. So we're going to use sine B over little b. Okay? And that's going to equal A over little a. Now, that's the one that doesn't matter. But once we use it, that's the side we got to stick with. So, since they gave us 29, we can use 29. Or we found 46, we can use 46. It's up to you guys. Gave us 29, use 29? Okay. So since they gave us 29, we're going to use 29. Sine 29. That means this is going to be A, which means this is going to be little a. Fair enough? Okay. All right. That means that's little a. We can tell the difference between A and 9, hopefully. My 9s and my A's look really, really close to the same. Alright, so, now we just have to solve for A. So, I like to do that little flip trick. Some people like to do cross multiplication. I just like to flip them. A over sine 29 is equal to 9 over sine 105. And then I multiply both sides by the sine of 29. Right? So these cancel. And I get A is equal to 9 sine 29 over sine 05. And then I plug that in my calculator. And I chug out the numbers. It's probably going to be pretty nasty. Right. See if you guys get the same number I get. Um, go C and go nine times sine twenty-nine. It equals and divide by sine one oh five. So I get four point five one seven two zero six 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 nine. Okay. All right. So we're on the same page. Um, that's my a. That's my side. Right. Um, now I can use that little thing we did earlier and go ahead, hey, I have this triangle, right? So I have, can I erase this now, that stuff? So I have this triangle, right? And this is 46, okay? And this is 4 point, we'll just call it 4.5 for right now, right? And uh, we don't know what this is. This is x. That's the height we're trying to find, right? So we know that x is opposite of 46 and that the 4.5 is the hypotenuse. Everybody see that? So that means that the sine, right, of 46 degrees is going to equal the opposite, because it's so, so it's going to equal x over 
the 4.5. So we're going to take that number, that 4.51, blah, 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 and multiply it by both sides. 4.5, 4.5, right? And so we get x is equal to this. And so now we have that one half the base, we decided the base was 9, times 4.5, it's basically 4.5 squared now, when you think about it, but a little bit more. Um, and I like to use the whole number, so I take the number that I found in my calculator, right? So I take that number that I found in my calculator, and I... Uh, multiply it by 0.5 and by 9, okay? And I get 20.3274. And we're only supposed to go to the tenth, so the area is equal to 20.3, and I think this is in miles, And hopefully I check that it's all right. I didn't even check the last one. Bad math teacher. I gonna check his work. Where am I going? Oh, somebody cut this. Uh oh. I got 20.3, but the answer is, is 14.6. The last answer was 19.1, was that right? Is that what we got? Okay. So why did they get 14.6? 14.6, why? Was this mine? Did we do that, right? So we said, we said that the sign is opposite over the hypotenuse. A, we found to be the sign of the angle the sine of 29 over A should equal the sine of 105 over 9, right? So we flip those, multiply both sides by the sine of 29. 9 times the sine of 29 divided by 105. That's 4.5, and then, so if this is 4.5, then the sine of this is equal to the x over the 4.5, right, yeah. So then I multiply that by the sine of 46. So that means that's 3.24, right? And then, so that's the height, and it's times by one half, oh, that's what I did wrong, 0.5 times, and the base was 9 times 5, or 9, there it is, 14.6, sorry about that.
So for some reason, I came up with something really weird. Uh, but that was... Um, so, basically, it's... I don't know what, how I did that wrong, but because I did it right. So then, 4.5 times this is equal to x. And when we do that, we got that to be 3... Oops. We got that to be 3.2494, right? And then, so this is basically 3.2. Oh, no, not that one. This was 3.2. This was 4.5. And then we said, well, 1 half times the, oh, that's why I threw the A back in the 1 half times the base times height instead of the height. That's what I did wrong. So it's 1 half times 3.2494, right? Times 9. And that should equal 14.622329, right? Which we found it to be 14.6 miles squared. So then A is equal to... 14.6 miles squared. Is that still recording, hopefully? Yeah. Okay. And then, was that the right answer? I didn't know. Yeah. Huh? I got 14.4. You got 14.4? Yeah. Oh, did you round off, though? Yeah. That's why. So what are the answers? They're looking for 14.6. Yeah. Okay, so the biggest problem. One... Don't plug in the wrong number. Two, <laughs> uh, don't round off. Even though we, it's nice to round off, it, round off creates error, and we won't get a very accurate number um, when we round off. So um, just keep that number in your calculator. It's, it's, it's pretty simple. If you want to look, that's how it looks. I got that number by uh, finding that 4.4 or 4.5 number. Remember how we found that was divided by the sine of 105? Well, then we, we took that number and we multiplied it by the sine of 46 to get us the height. So therefore, the height was a huge number. And then we're going to take that huge number and multiply it by one half times the base, which is nine. That gives us our 14.6. Okay.